Hey, what's up guys? I'm here today to talk about everyone's favorite spiky haired, red shoes wearing, blue rodent with a need for speed. No, not Sonic the Hedgehog. This video is all about Zippy the Porcupine. Another fantastic demake for the Atari 2600. Like Princess Rescue, Zippy was created by Chris Spry, aka Sprybug, and is available for purchase as a physical cartridge on Atari Age. Sega seems to have taken the high road on this fan game as no legal action has been taken so far. Developer Sprybug and Albert, the game's distributor, were kind enough to speak with me and have recently agreed to upload the ROM file online for anyone to play it and enjoy. So links will be in the description below. Let's take a look at this game and see what it has to offer. When you first boot this game up, you're greeted with a wonderful title screen with Sonic's familiar theme song playing on Atari's ancient hardware. A very basic intro shows Eggman flying around, attempting to steal the Chaos Emeralds. <clears throat> I mean, power gems. The first level you play seems to be randomly selected, and there are four zones with four levels within, 16 in total. Hill Zone is the first area, and the controls, while stiffer when compared to this game's primary influence, perform well in recreating the overall feel on significantly inferior hardware. You can spin dash and run through loops, which I didn't think the Atari could pull off. It's also a treat to see recognizable enemies and item boxes. The 2600 couldn't handle vertical scrolling, so springs will launch you into an upper portion of a level. If you find a spring in an upper area, you're greeted with a ring-collecting minigame. The goal is to collect as many rings as possible before you break the ground below you. Each level, while looking similar, offers its own unique elements. Aquazone, for example, allows you to jump higher due to being underwater. There are also switches you can jump on to open passages. Cave Zone has segments where the ground will give way underneath you, so keep running or you'll fall in a pit. If you complete the third stage, which is kind of hard to do, you'll get your chance to take on the Mustached Man. I've only gotten to him once so far, and I died because I didn't defeat him soon enough. He's easy to hit, but every time he comes down to attack, part of the ground you walk on gets destroyed, greatly reducing your chances of survival each time he does it. Zippy the Porcupine is not for casual gamers, and I haven't come close to beating it yet. It is, however, a wonderful love letter to the other blue guy, and if you're up for a challenge, I encourage you to support the developer and purchase a copy. If you're like me and don't own an Atari, you can still enjoy it through emulators like Stella or RetroArch. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching this video, and thank you for your support. If you would like to see more videos like this one, please consider liking or subscribing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.